Well, Her Herman Goldner uh, is an enormous uh, influence on skiing. Uh, first of all, I mean, this is where we all first knew him, is for his, his athleticism. And when f freestyle came in, I mean, he was doing, you know, it, all of that stuff. And I was never a freestyler, so that's foreign to me, but we were all amazed. And he was so far ahead of the curve that he was spectacular. So as a skier, uh, Herman, uh, he changed uh, American skiing first, and then, of course, he changed international skiing just by his example. And he was, he was simply the best of what he did. And then uh, when he took uh, that personal experience and turned it to coaching, he, he changed coaching, I think. Uh, he was from the East and I was from the West. So I wasn't really around him, but I certainly knew uh, several of the people that he coached and changed their lives and influence. And he took this uh, remarkable uh, combination of discipline and ability to have fun while working your ass off and uh, made people uh, 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 become their better selves. So as a coach, he, you know, he, he was wonderful, is wonderful, he's still coaching a bit. And um, then, of course, his, uh, his invention of the breakaway gate uh, revolutionized skiing. So <laughs> Herman's got it uh, as, a, as, a, uh, as a skier, as a coach, and as an innovator. Uh, Herman's one of the great people of skiing, in my view. Yeah. Well, for me, uh, Herman and I have skied together a little bit. But we have climbed together way more than we've skied together. And so as a friend and a climbing partner, he's been a bigger influence on my life than as a skier. Uh, uh, but uh, my uh, fondest memories of, of Herman are of his uh, eccentricities and his humor. He's got one of the most bizarre senses of humor you can imagine. And uh, we used to go on climbing trips and we'd uh, uh, camp out. And I remember one day we were camping in Colorado near this climbing area and I got up in the morning and I had on two down jackets. It was freezing and we we're having coffee and, and Herman is out there in a t-shirt, you know, because that's his, his uh, ethic of things. And uh, <laughs> I always crack up. And uh, he's just a very tough man, very eccentric. Um, and uh, I just heard that uh, he's had another knee operation or something. So, uh, you know, he keeps chugging along. And I think that Herman is, if not the best, he's certainly among the best uh, sport rock climbers of his age in the United States, if not the world. Yeah. Myself, Herman and a number of other guys. And these were all of the, most of them were all the skiers you never heard of. But these guys were all world-class skiers and they were coaches for Pepe Stiegler at Jackson Hole. And I was one and Herman was another and there were two or three other guys that were on the Austrian team. Holy mackerels, you know, what a load of talent. She's teaching these kids. And um, Herman was just exquisite with the kids. He just, he knew how to not only talk on their level, but he knew how to get the kids to incorporate and understand how to do these really technical um, things on a race course, you know. Um, he really had a talent for, that was another thing about Herman, he had a talent for teaching. He wasn't trying to make himself great. He really, he really wants the person that he's teaching to, to learn and to grow. Um, I would have to say that Herman is one of those Gee, I've been all over the world and I've met people all over the world in different walks of life, in politics and 
motion pictures and banking and Herman is a very, very rare individual. He um, he has a sense of ethics and conscience towards his fellow man and towards what he does that you just don't see. <laughs>